In this video, I will show you how to manage the state of a like button in our showing app. In the last video, we designed each element here in this grid have a like button. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to control it and make it working. As you see, here in grid product item, we added a static like button in the last video. Now we will make it working and change its state for each product in this grid separately. I prefer to move product model to provider folder here because we will turn our model here into a provider also. And by that I mean it will provide the state of this variable here and we need to listen for changes so the application rebuilds the icon if there is a change happen. We need to change the state of each product in our grid, not just updating it once here in the product's provider file, so that each product has its own value, even it's liked or not. Are you focused? If you lost me, I want you to remember, we have just one object of products with the S which is a list of product model here. But we have many objects of our product here. Now let's mix in product with a change modifier, which is available here because we importing the material to that. After that, let's add a function in our product model here to toggle this variable here and notify listeners if there is any change happening. And this was the main reason for turning our model here into a data provider. To tell us the state of this variable, which is not final because it's going to change. And also if there is a change happening, he is going to tell everyone listening to this product here, hey, this variable has been changed. You need to rebuild yourself and update your skin. And then the build method will rebuild itself, but with a new value. Let's add a void function that return nothing and name it toggle is favorite, which will change our boolean variable to the opposite value of it. If it's true, it's going to return false, and if it false, it will return true. After we set the new value, we have to notify our listeners. If you still can't understand why we use notify listeners, consider it like a state state in a stateful class. But we are using it to notify listeners to rebuild the view with a new value automatically. Now we will provide our model in the place we want in our tree, which is going to be above grid product item. So let's wrapping our widget here with a change in notifier. Now we have to tell Flutter what is the type of the data that we are going to provide, which is going to be a product. And here in the create, we are going to provide the data itself, which will be product object. Here in our case, we already have our app products objects as a list of products objects here, because this is returning a list of objects. Here in available products, we are returning a list of products. As you remember here in products provider, we have a list of different products. So instead of passing the object's data here and also passing a new object that we are that we are not going to use and here in the grid product item here in this constructor we are passing a data for this product here. So instead of passing this data we are going to comment it. Also instead of passing a new object of a product we are not going to pass we are going to pass, we will provide every product here in this list to our great product item widget here. And for its children, of course, using a provider. So here if we got this list here and tell it him, we need the index number 0, number 1, number 2. However, the list having here in, in this object, it's going to return object depending on the index that returned from our grid view builder. Which means changing the file will provide a different product depending on the index of the product or the grid view builder each time we create a grid product item. Again, this representing a different product object for every time grid view builder build a new grid product item. And this product object here is available here in this avail products list 
which is provided by this provider or this class which is products with the s now if we go here to this grid product item we don't need this anymore we are going to comment this and also we are going to comment this to delete this error now inside the build method of grid product item we will make a connection to our data provider and get the product data by using provider of and the type of the data that we will be provided we are going to store this value in a final product to use it here of course we need to import provider package the file which contain our product here now we are going to use here product to pass the id the image the title of the product as you see product dot image product dot title and here's the id product dot id now let's run the app again and make sure that everything working as the same before and as you see the application is still working here as the same before now it's the last part of this video we will use is favorite here of this product to determine if this product here is favorite or not so here we are returning an icon and we can use our product here dot is favorite and if it's true return a favorite icon and if not with the turn me operator you are we are using here bordered or outlined favorite icon and now to change the state we can access the function here in this module or of our product here if we press this icon so here in the on press we are going to tell him toggle this function if we are pressing here this icon and let's run again and test it now if we press here it should change the state of this icon each one is separate of the other products in the grid now each element here in the grid have its own value and don't forget you will find the code of this video in the description below see you in the next video bye